Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Let's build a quick closet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up an elevation. And if I pull this down, you'll notice an elevation of that wall. I'm going to click on Flex Catalog because it's a module that you add to 2020. I'm going to tell it that I want three sections in this closet. I will simply expand it to go all the way right to left, and it's going to build all the components. Now, if we go take a look at our perspective, you'll notice three components of closet. Now, I can modify these just like I can modify any item. I can go in and say attributes by right-clicking on it. It comes up, and you'll see that it's kind of translucent right now, but if I right-click on it, I can have it with an outline mode. If I right-click again, it can be wireframe. But there's my closet. I'm going to go to the Variables tab. If I click on Section 1, Section 1 is the left. I can come down here, and right now it says Section 1 is 30 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. I want it to be 24 inches. And if I go back and take a look at this, 24, 34 and a quarter, 34 and a quarter. Once you change the dimensions of one item, it'll take the rest of the space and divide it equally by the sections that you defined. Now, I can start to populate this. If I go in the shelf and I choose a fixed shelf and drop it, as I move, it jumps. Every time it jumps, it's jumping to a drilling in the panel. It knows where each drilling is, where each shelf hole would be. If I go to an adjustable shelf and I drag this over and do the same thing, you see it sized, it cut to the opening, exactly with the opening because it knows the panel thicknesses and everything. If I grab hold of this and I move this, it jumps. It doesn't line up. It knows that there's a pinhole right here. A fixed shelf has a pin that goes right into the pinhole and is in the middle of the shelf, whereas an adjustable shelf sits on top of the pin. They don't line up in real life. And it doesn't here either because it's smart. It's intuitive. So let's go back and let's delete these. And let's build a quick closet. I'd like to put some drawers here with some shelves above it. Well, I can just drop down to a section and say drawers and shelving. Drop it into place. Slide it over and click. It's going to build this out with drawers and shelving. Maybe I want to use the right-hand side to hang. So let's do a double hanger. So we'll come over here to the double hanging system, drop it into place, click on it, and it'll drop it in, and you'll see now that you have two hanging sections. All the components are real sized, and we know the dimensions, and we can print out all the components it takes to build this. Now center section, I'm going to put some adjustable shelves in. I'll just drop it in. I'm going to go up here and kind of snap it in there. We'll move in here and we'll put another one in. I'm going to snap it in alignment with that drawer. We'll put another one in and maybe we'll snap that one in here. Maybe I'll just put one more here in the middle and that's my section. I have built a closet that quickly. If I go in here now and take a look at it, there's my closet. That fast. Now, Let's say you want to put a door on that side. If I come back down here and I choose doors, overlay door, I'd like to drag a door over and I'll drop it. If I move, it actually sizes the doors depending on where I am. I want to put a door there. If we come back and take a look at it again, it has a door on it. I can decorate it too. I can go into 2020 Cloud. I'm in the generic 2020 catalog right now, but I'm going to look for clothes. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this hanging skirt. We will click and put this on the plan, drop it on the hanger. Let's go back and take a quick look. I have a hanging skirt now in that closet rod. If I wanted to go back again, grab this pair of shoes right here, snap them in here to the, to the center section. I can grab hold of this. I'm going to move it up, and let's say we sit it on the second shelf. Come back in here, take a quick look now. There's my closet. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.